there's a helicopter over there, and just leave it there. As John Chai used to say, it's not that sound is bothering us, we're bothering the sound. As long as we're commenting on it, thinking about it, we're not thinking about our object of meditation, even though the object of meditation is still here. Outside sounds don't destroy your breath. Thoughts don't destroy your breath. So try to follow the th thread of the breath all the way through. This is what the word anupasana means. It literally means follow seeing or follow after. There are going to be all kinds of distractions in the world, and you have to learn how to stick with the object you want to stay with. You made up your mind you're going to stay here, and you need the ability to fend off any other distractions. And a lot of that, quote, fending off means not getting involved with them at all. Let them have their place. You have yours. It's like dealing with pests. You can't eradicate all the ants in the world. What you can do is establish a space where the ants will come into your space and let them have their space. And that way we can live together. The sounds of the world, issues outside, they have their space. But you want to establish your space right here. Now, the problem is it seems to be they, they're invading your space. But think of it as be, being porous. They come in, they go out right through. You've got the larger framework of your awareness. Make that your framework. This is why the Buddha, when he was talking about right concentration, didn't say that you have to reduce everything to one point. You establish a large framework that everything can come through and go out and not get knocked over by whatever's coming in and out. And that's the thread you want to follow. That's the frame of your frame of reference you want to follow. That way you get continuity of the mind in the midst of all kinds of distractions. Because as life goes on, the distractions get even more. There are going to be age, aging, signs of aging, illness. The prospect of death is going to come. Even before real death comes, you have a couple of close calls. You can't let yourself get distracted by those things. You've got to make up your mind. You've got to stay where you want the mind to stay. And let these other things have their space. And in letting them have their space, you have more space for yourself. So try to follow the thread of the breath, follow the thread of your awareness of the body, keeping this large framework. Now you can live in the world and the practice of the Dharma doesn't have to suffer. <laughs>